June 30th, 1994. Special delivery for Jasper White. I'm Jasper White. Sign here. Jasper looked at the return address, and upon seeing it was from Brian, tore it open as if every second counted. Its contents made Jasper's blood run cold. Dear Jasper, my initial investigation concerning David Armstrong didn't seem very promising, but thanks to your advising me to leave no stone unturned, I found out that he's not all that he appears to be when he is with Crystal Matthews. What I found is that David is very chummy with a Hank Devlin, who is the top agent for the movement in our area that wants to wipe out Christianity from every walk of life. After much digging, I've discovered that one of that movement's tactics is to work like a wolf in sheep's clothing. That is what I believe David is doing with Crystal. He is making on to her that he has had a true conversion to Christ and his way, but he is only that way when he is around her. I've discovered that when he is not around her, he eats pork and other forbidden food, and I know from you, from what you have shared with me over the years, that is a definite no-no. I've also discovered that he is very much involved with a charity fundraiser that is put on by a liquor company in the area that will run on July 23rd. I haven't found out any evidence that he drinks himself, but judging from what you told me about Crystal, she would not be too happy with his involvement in a charity even that gives the impression that a company that helps out others can't be all that bad even though its existence runs countless, ruins countless lives in so many different ways the rest of the year. From what I can see, Crystal has been fooled big time. She is so happy, and if all things continue as they are, she will marry David in August, totally oblivious to the fact she did not find her prince charming, but instead a prince nightmare. How do you want me to proceed from here? Sincerely, Brian. Jasper sat pondering just what could be done to get Crystal to see the light of her predicament. He thought of telling Brian to approach her on his behalf, but that idea made him feel very cowardly. Crystal had been direct with him, so he knew that the best way was to be the same with her. But how was he going to write the most important letter of his life? He couldn't spend too much time on it as time was running out, but he didn't want it to seem like he was jealous and making it all up to ruin her happiness once again. He decided to ask for help from above. Dear Jesus, I don't deserve your help on this after I failed you time and time again by giving in to the temptation to drink. I don't understand why I'm so weak, but please, for the sake of Crystal's happiness, let me write a letter that even though it comes from a hypocrite, she will heed its warning and be spared a life of misery that is sure to come from entering into a union with that snake in the grass. Thank you by faith that you have answered my prayer.